and hello student. My name is Cikgu Asma. Today, we will be learning English language. But before we start, there are few reminders that I need to tell you. Which is the first one, you need to watch the video until the end. The second one, please refer to the April module. The third one, if you have any question, ask me through the WhatsApp group. And the last one, don't forget to like MMTC page to know more information. Okay, now let's start our class. Make sure you are looking to the right module. Module Bahasa Inggeris, Tingkatan 1, 2, 3, Topic, Poem and Reading Comprehension, April 2020. Today, we will be learning about poem. Okay, now, poem from Three Poison Talk by Raymond Wilson. Please refer to page 1. For stanza 1, Who killed caught Robin? I, said the worm, I did him great harm. He died on the branch of a witted tree from the acid soil that poisoned me. What does it mean? It means that the worm said the acid soil poisoned it and now it had poisoned cock robin after the bird ate the worm. Okay, what is cock robin? Cock robin is a male bird and it is common in England. Maksudnya kat sini, narrator bertanya, dia nak tahu siapa yang bunuh Cock Robin. Okay, Cock Robin ni kan tadi uh, male bird. Okay, time tu, worm jawab. Worm jawab yang worm tu responsible. Macam mana bird tu boleh mati? Sebabnya, bird ate the worm which is poisonous. Worm tu poisonous. Poisonous sebab uh, worm tu was poisoned by the acid soil. Okay, lepas pada tu, uh, acid soil tu toxic dan dia harmful to plants and trees. That is why, nampak tak dia kata kat situ, uh, bird tu died uh, on a branch of a weeded tree. Weeded tree maksudnya tree yang dah dry and weak. Jadi, itu untuk the first stanza. Pemahaman untuk first stanza. For the second stanza, who killed the heron? I mouth the fish with my tainted flesh. I killed tern, duck and drake, all the birds of the lake. Okay, apa maksudnya kat sini? It means the fish said it poisoned flesh, killed all the birds of the lake. Okay, what is heron? Heron is a large bird that feeds on fish. Maksud untuk stanza tu ni, uh, narrator tanya siapa yang kill heron tu. Uh, dan fish confesses uh, yang fish tu kill heron. Fish yang bunuh heron. How fish kill heron? Uh, the fish kill heron when the bird fed on his poisoned flesh. The word tainted tu maksudnya contaminated ataupun tercemar. Bila uh, heron tu makan fish, fish yang tercemar, sebab tu lah bird tu mati. Sebab dia makan fish yang tercemar. Fish tu pun cakap, uh, dia bunuh semua birds termasuk latin, dark and drake. Okay, now kita tengok stanza 3. Who killed the lake? I boasted industry. I poisoned with mercury. Fish, plant and wheat to pamper man's greed. Okay, apa maksud dia? Apa maksud dia? Industry, factory said it poisoned the lake with mercury. All fish, plant and wheat died because man polluted the lake. Okay, ini uh, in detail. The narrator, dia nak tahu siapa yang bunuh lake. Who killed the lake? Okay. Industry boasts that he killed the lake. Maksud boast tu, maksudnya industry tu is not sorry for killing the lake but is proud of it. Okay. Lain selepas tu, uh, I poison with mercury, fish, plant and wheat 
dia nak cakap lah industry explain how he killed the lake he poisoned the fish weeds and the plants in the lake with mercury mercury ni a very poisonous lah beracun substance yang beracun ok uh, macam mana mercury ni tersebar it is released into the environment through industrial process dan line yang terakhir to pamper a uh, man's grit ok maksudnya line yang terakhir untuk stanza 3 ni lah to pamper man's grit maksudnya industry says that he poisoned the lake to please greedy men the word man tu refer to people lah kita semua you and I ok um, the real reason for the death of the lake is man's grit Maksudnya ketamakan manusia. Uh, for stanza 4, who killed the flowers? I, moan the wind. I prowl unconfined, blowing acid rain over field, flood and fan. Untuk stanza 4, narrator dia bertanya siapa yang bunuh flowers? Okey, kat sini wind dia confess yang dia bunuh flowers. Okay, the word moon tell us that the wind is actually sad. Okay, uh, perkataan prowl. Prowl tu tell us that the wind moves around like an animal looking for prey. The word unconfined means freely. Okay, ni maksudnya the winds explain that he killed the flowers by carrying acid rain. Sama juga macam acid soil tadi, acid rain destroy plants. For stanza 5, who killed the forest? I ensure that it died, said sulfur dioxide, and all life within it from earthworm to linnet. Stanza 5, okay, narrator wants to know who killed the forest. Um, sulfur dioxide answer he killed all life from the earthworm to linnet linnet ni a small european bird macam dalam gambar tadi lah ok tapi line yang ke yang tengah tu I ensure that it died said sulfur dioxide ok maksudnya um, sulfur dioxide ni he made sure the for forest died along with all the creatures lah yang ada dalam tu Sulfur dioxide ni dia merupakan smelly gas ataupun liquid yang diproduce through industrial processes and the burning of petroleum. Dia dissolve uh, dalam water to form acid. And um, air yang polluted by sulfur dioxide tu akan turn rain into acid rain which is harmful to plants and wildlife. Uh, sulfur dioxide ni uh, dia cakap uh, dia bunuh all life from the earthworm to linnet. Maksudnya, it tell us how powerful uh, sulfur dioxide ni. Okay, kita tengok teams dia. Teams dia ada dua. Environmental pollutions dengan yang kedua ialah disruption of nature. For environmental pollutions, men are willing to destroy our mother nature for more money and power. The factories, car and other vehicle, they release poisonous gas and substance like mercury. Mercury ni akan pollute the lake and flora dengan fauna in it. Untuk elaboration destruction of nature, nature ada flora dengan fauna. Ni affect one another. When the lake gets polluted, the fish that lives in it will get poison. Kalau birds tu makan fishes, birds tu pun akan get poison. Also, kalau uh, wind tu polluted, it brings the poisonous gas everywhere. All plants will die. At the end, it destroy our mother nature. Okay, now we move to uh, setting. Okay, when is the setting uh, of this poem? Setting kita ada dua, setting place dengan setting time. Okay, setting place yang pertama uh, countryside where all kinds of animals and plants live. Uh, 
a place ni juga antara England ataupun Europe sebab England dengan Europe je yang macam ada birds like robins, terns, herons, ducks, linnets ah uh, uh, tu birds yang commonly found lah dekat England dengan Europe. Uh, yang ketiga it's not far from the industrial area. Setting time dia ialah 20th century sebab 10th 20th century ni lah scientists mula dia buat research pasal kesan acid rain. Okay, it's all for today. Okay, so before we end, I want you to open uh, page 3 and do exercise related to the poem yang Poison Talk tu. Okay, any question ask me through the WhatsApp.